So frottage is basically just a rubbing of a texture. So what you do is you place an object under the paper. Um, here, the objects I used were a uh, leaf. Um, you recognize some of them. Here's the key that I used. Um, I used a Lego. I used, um, let's see, <laughs> I used this metal Pokemon card box cover from my kid and um, some other different things. Let's see, this round thing was a um, top of a spool of thread and I also have a comb. So different things produce different textures. Um, this like plastic bag that oranges come in. Um, and so for this one, this is a texture study of different objects. And so I made a grid, which is three boxes by three boxes, and the boxes are two inches um, wide. And so I basically just measured six inches horizontally and then six inches vertically with my ruler um, just to make a nice even box. And then I placed the objects underneath and I kind of, kind of had to hold them down while I shaded over them with the pencil. And um, you might want to practice doing it on just like a scrap sheet of paper first so you can see what it's like to shade. Um, I actually kind of hold the pencil sideways and shade with the edge of the pencil rather than the pointy part. And it's easier to get the texture. But it's just a really cool way to display the different um, textures that you're exploring. Another way you can do this, if you don't want to look for nine different objects, is you can just do a texture study with one object. So with this one, I did it with this comb, and um, I want you guys to challenge yourself to come up with different ways to arrange the composition. Um, and I like the way this looks because you're kind of using repetition to um, make it look interesting, but you're also using variety to mix it up and use different angles and like, you know how the comb has like the skinny teeth side and the fat teeth side. So just like mixing in the really simple elements in different ways to make it look interesting is kind of a challenge and it's kind of, you know, rewarding when you get it right. And then the other thing that you can do, this is what the Surrealists did, is take multiple textures and try to make it look like something. So um, I tried to make some weird like animal um, it's like got key legs and it's got all the same objects that I used on this one. You can recognize the comb and the leaf and everything. Um, but I just tried to put it together to look like something and um, it looks like a weird four-legged creature, kind of. Maybe not, but that's okay. Um, you can also just use it to make like an abstract um, design, you know, just kind of put them together in a cool way. You just have to layer it and sort of keep track of where everything is as you're shading it. So um, you got choices, you got options. You're welcome to do any combination of these or you could also do, um, if you don't wanna do any of them, you can also do the uh, visual journal prompts for this week, which are also posted.